All right, good morning. We are Butchel Meyer. We are an engineering firm. Um, we are designing a footing to be under a building, a civil engineering building to be built in San Marcos. Our footing is to be designed for a 78 ton load. Uh, I am Jack Butcher. And I'm Trevor Meyer. And this is our presentation for you. So this is our test data and our soil properties for our foundation design. Um, we had an average uh, end count or 17 blows for SPT data. For our CPT data, we got a QT average of 120 TSF. And from our direct shear data, we assumed a cohesion of zero TSF to be on the cautionary side and a friction angle, friction angle of 27 degrees. And then for our soil properties that we went ahead and um, designed by, uh, we have a factor of safety of three that we've used in all of our equations. Um, our groundwater table in this particular instance was not encountered, so we did not need to worry about that. Um, our dry unit weight of the soil is 133 pounds per cubic foot. Um, our ES over C, our QC value is going to be uh, equal to three. And our PA, which is our atmospheric pressure, is going to be 2.12 tons per square foot. These are the equations we use throughout the entire design process of our foundation. Um, we have a medium dense sand. Uh, our SPT soil bearing capacity equation is right here. Our CPT soil bearing capacity equation. Our Trizaghi's bearing capacity per square footings equation and our VESIX bearing capacity equation. These are all the bearing capacity equations that we used. So we had four different methods to compare our bearing capacities with. And our Schwerkman's elastic sediment is what we use for sediment in our design. So these are our calculations for our bearing capacity from SPT, CPT, Terzaghi, and Vesic. For SPT, we got a 4.6 TSF using a factor of safety of three. Factor of safety of three was used for all of them. For CPT, we got 5.4 tons per square foot. From Terzaghi, we got 1.8 tons per square foot. And from Vesic, we got 2.1 tons per square foot. Um, and we used a bearing capacity of two tons per square foot. We had a lot more confidence in our Vesic equation than we did in Terzaghi. And we, seen, we thought that these um, numbers from SPT and CPT were a little inflated, so we kind of chose to err on the side of caution and get a little closer to our Vesics uh, equation. We kind of took a little bit of an in-between between Terzaghi and Vesics, but we erred a little closer to Vesics, so we put it right at two tons per square foot. So like Jack said, we kind of used our engineering judgment right here and determined to use um, a Q allowable of uh, two TSF. And with that, we were able to come up with a foundation design just based off of bearing capacity um, of a base of an elite this is a square footing, so both are going to be 6.5 feet. Um, and when it went ahead and it went at a depth of three feet. With that, we can go into our settlement calculations. Um, obviously, we have our bearing capacity to design, but we also had to account for settlement. Um, so with this, like Jack said earlier, we're going to use the Schmertman method. Um, we have done our calculations um, uh, for the elastic settlement from our bearing capacity dimensions. Um, we use the table 4.8, which we have listed right here. Um, to go ahead and let's see what we have. Right yes. here we have a young, normally consolidated clean silica sand. Um, that's what we decided from our CPT and SPT and direct shear data that our soil is. And we assumed young to make it a little bit more uh, cautionary. Um, and we assumed normally consolidated because we didn't have a consolidation test um, to pull data from. So with our uh, settlement design, we got 0 0.51 inches of settlement. Um, after uh, collaborating with the rest of our firm who were doing the rest of the footings uh, with higher loads because we had the smallest load throughout the building. Um, they, we told them our settlement of 0.51 inches and we uh, collaborated with them and realized that we cannot go any smaller with our footing size without uh, failing in bearing capacity with a factor of safety of three. So with our footing being the smallest it can, they went off of our settlement of 0.51 inches. So we kept it at six and a half feet by six and a half feet at three feet deep in the soil. Um, and that gave us again a settlement of 0.51 inches. For punching shear of the column uh, into the footing, we have a column of nine inches by nine inches. It's a square column. And the load again is 78 tons onto the footing. Uh, we have a perimeter of 36 inches from this nine by nine column. And using Dr. Belouz's rule of thumb, we calculated a shear perimeter of 54 inches, which you can see right here. The thickness of our um, footing for, based off of our punching shear, we got 14 inches. Um, so our thickness of our footing is 14 inches. So now we have a six and a half by six and a half square footing that is 14 inches thick, that is three feet deep embedded into the soil. And then from that, we were able to calculate our steel reinforcement that we were gonna need for this project. Um, we did decide to use the number six bars. Um, we, to calculate how many we needed, uh, we used a theoret 
to calculate the theoretical number, we took the area of the steel and divided by 0.4, and it came out to uh, 3.71 inches, which is going to be about 8.44 number of bars needed. Rounding that up to the next number, we went ahead and did 9 number 6 bars, and we did calculate the spacing of that rebar, um, and we've got it at 8.73 inches. So this is our final design of our footing, all drawn to scale. Again, we have it three feet deep embedded into the soil, a nine by nine inch column on top that is a square, a six and a half foot square footing with nines, number six rebar, uh, number six steel bars, excuse me, and it is 14 inches thick. And so for the final design of the project, like Jack said, we do have um, other people in our firm that are working on the other um, loads and designing footings for those. Um, throughout the whole project, we only have two um, footing loads that are going to be using our design. Um, and we've got, like, we've got the 155 kips. Like I said, there's two of them. Um, and so at the end, when everybody else finishes their uh, foundation design, we'll be able to put them all together and take it to our client. Thank you for listening.